In this video, we're going to take a look at applying a sort of painterly sketch effect to this picture here. Again, it's the extreme sailing event down at Cardiff Bay. You've got the St. David's Hotel in the background. This is also a great way of getting to grips with layers because we will be using layers, layer masks and adjustment layers throughout. Right, to make a start, we're going to come to the background layer itself. We're going to duplicate the background layer. The quickest and easiest way is a shortcut. It's Command J or Control J on a PC. That's Command J on a Mac, Control J on a PC. We've now duplicated the background layer. To make life just a little bit easier, it always helps to rename the layers. To rename layer one, if you just click on it, double click on it even, helps. Just put in the title, I'll put in, or the, not the title, but it's the, you know, what it is, I suppose. In this case, it's a sketch. Well, it's not at this stage, but it will be. Now, to apply the sketch, we're going to go to Filter. We're going to drop down to Blur. We're going to go to Smart Blur. Now, when Smart Blur opens, taking a look at it, this looks nothing like a sketch. But if we drop down, we're going to select the quality here. We're going to change this to Medium. The mode, we're going to change to Edge Only. And that's where the sketch effect comes in. So just lifting this up, if I just move it around, you can see you've got parts of the building there coming through. There's some people stood there. And actually on the defaults, it doesn't look too bad. But what's it actually doing? If we just take this up a little bit to something like 29, we can now start playing with the radius. And as we bring the radius in, you can see we're adding to the lineage the way it's coming through there. So something in that realms there looks pretty good. Right, let's click OK. This is now going to apply it. Once it's applied, you can see it's coming through, taking its own sweet time. Right, once it's applied, it's going to give a sort of, there, <laughs> looks as if it's taken during the night. We've got the black background, white lineage. Not what we're after. What we need is the reverse. So to use it, we're going to do Command I, Control I, that's Command I, Control I, which will inverse it. There it is, that's exactly what we're after. Right, coming back to the Layers panel, we're going to duplicate this layer using Command J, Control J. That's renamed it Sketch Copy. It's a copy of this layer here. We're going to switch this layer off, switching off Sketch Copy. We're going to click on making sure this is the live layer, our sketch layer. Dropping down, we're going to put in the layer mask. In it goes. Now, with a layer mask, black is going to remove it, allowing us to see the background layer here and white will reveal it. But let's take a closer look. I'm going to pick up a paintbrush. We've got the default colors. Any other colors, press D on the keyboard to reset these. Coming up, clicking in the window, I've got a 200 pixel soft edge brush. That'll be fine. We're going to change the mode here from normal to dissolve. Something else, if we just come along to this one here, we've got three little icons. It's the center one we're after. If we click on this, because I'm going to be using a graphics tablet, check the setting to set the pen pressure, should control, we're going to select the size. Now, what that will enable us to do is when we come in with the brush, if I apply a very slight pressure, it's going to be a very faint line. If I apply a larger pressure, it's going to be to the full thickness. So that's going to enable us when we come through, and I'm just going to do diagonal style strokes like this to just ease off a little bit, just so we can vary it. Because I'm going to leave some spaces in between. Coming through, just getting the boat in there. This stage, it doesn't look anything remarkable. And if we just come up, what I intend to do as well is just leave the top part of the hotel something like that. I just want to give a little bit of a, a glimpse of it as such. Let's come over the boats like this. Right. Let's zoom in. Let's take a look using Command Spacebar, Control Spacebar. In we pop. And as I said, it doesn't look anything fantastic at the moment. But if we come back to our sketch copy and if we switch it on, we go back to our sketch. Now, to enable us to see through this, so in other words, we're going to look through this layer here, our sketch copy, through the layer mask to the background layer here, we're going to change this to, and this is the blend mode, to soft lights. Through it goes. That looks better. Now, what we need to do to carry on is to make sure we're working on the layer mask. Don't use this. Don't click on here because you get the framework around the image. You're now working on the image itself. You need to make sure you've got the framework around the layer mask here. Then we can continue working our way through something like this, just bringing back bits and pieces like this, just using the space bar to zoom around. 
around that area there. If I just use Command Zero, Control Zero to go to fit on screen, I'm just going to bring in some the sky there down around our boats here. Perhaps not quite all of that boat there, just leaving that out a little bit on its own. Let's get some water in as well. Just pressing down a bit heavier now just to get the detail like this. Now if I press X on the keyboard, that's put white as a foreground colour. And as I said with a layer mask, if you do that, that just removes it. The reason why I want to do this is just pressing X again, is I want to give a little bit of a... I want to leave some parts of it still white like that. So if there's any parts you want to sort of bring back, should I say, just press X. There it is. We can now go back. You can paint that out and you can paint it back in again using black. So black removes, then white will conceal it. Coming through, that looks pretty good like that. The image itself is looking just a little bit on the flat side. But by flat, I mean when you look at it, it hasn't got any bite to it. If we click on the background layer itself, so we've now dropped down, we're now working on the background layer, we're going to drop down to this little icon here. Now this is the adjustment layer and we're going to go to levels. Now with levels you can see the white is out on this area here. If we click this, is sorry, should I say the white, this is the highlight. If I move this in you can see it's sort of brightening up nicely. Let's move it to that area there. Now coming to the center slider, if I just move this back and forth, you can see the way we can just darken things down. Just going to bring it into that sort of area. That looks pretty good like that. While we're at it, let's come back to the Layers tab, dropping down again to an Adjustment layer. This time we're going to go for Hue Saturation. Now with the Hue Saturation, I'm going to grab hold of this, I'm going to take it up. And you can see the way we can sort of really make those colours sort of jump out a little bit. That looks pretty good as it is there. Right. Something else you might like to try and do is come to the top layer here. If we just switch these off, when I say the top layer, that's this layer here. We're going to put in a new empty layer. We're going to hold down Alt on the keyboard. So holding down Alt on the keyboard, go into Layer, going down to Merge Visible. That has now put these layers into this new layer here. So all of these layers have been combined into this layer. We're now going to go up to Filter, Blur. Gaussian blue or Gaussian blue, whichever way you want to pronounce it. And let's just take a look. It's a bit much. Something in that area there would be pretty good. Clicking OK to that. Let's switch the rest back on. Now when you look at it, if we zoom in, you can see we've got a nice sort of blurry. You can see the way the colours are now coming over the edges. That looks pretty good. But you've also got the ability to be able to just drop down the opacity just to reveal a little bit more of the original image underneath. So something in that area. Great stuff. Right. How about a bit of texture? I think texture would really help to finish this off just using Command-0, Control-0 to go to fit on screen. Come into the top layer of the layer stack. Now this is a layer which is in a blend mode. Now you can't always adjust things or can't always apply things to this, should I say. So dropping down, putting in a new empty layer as we did before, holding down the Alt or the Option key, going to Layer, clicking on Merge Visible, has now combined all these layers into this new layer here. We're going to go to Filter, we're going to go to Texture, we're going to go to Texturizer, and that's going to open up the Filter Gallery. Through it comes, and there it is. Now, you've got a choice of brick, which, yes, you've got a choice of <laughs> some of the others. My favourite one here is Sandstone. Now, just taking a look at this, if we drop down to this and like on here, it's always a good idea to go to 100%. Look at it at 100%, and when you're looking through now, you get an idea of how it's actually going to work. And look, what have we got? We've got 100%. With a relief of four, you can sort of, the more relief you put in, the more sort of, yes, right, rough it looks. You could strike a match on that. Bringing it back into this sort of realms, four there was pretty good like that. Yeah, I like that. The light interaction, you can change from the drop down menu there. You can also invert it as well. And you can see the way it looks slightly different when you invert it. But I'm just going to click OK to this. Through it goes. Right, let's zoom in to 100%. Now it's always a good idea when you get into the 100% mark is to look for an area of where you've got the plain white here, the plain blue there, because what we're going to do now is just come to the opacity slider and reduce the opacity on this layer 
So we're just going to dial it back into that realms there, just where you can see a bit of the texture coming through on the planar areas. If you go to something with a bit of patterning, you can lose it a little bit. So that's why it's always a good idea to look for where you've got plain areas like that. Don't forget, rename it as well. So you know exactly what you've got on this particular layer. Right, zooming out using Command-0, Control-0. There's our finished image. We can still come through. We can still, if you click and make sure you're working on the mask, you can still sort of come in, make any adjustments to this. Let's just bring in this boat here. That looks pretty good. We're now looking through the texture layer, through this sketch layer here. This is reduced opacity. Don't forget, this is on a blend mode of soft lights through the layer mask to the blurry one here, which we can still come to. It's all completely adjustable. You can have it as blurred. And you can see the way that's changing. If I just knock that back and forth, something in that area where we were, where we was about ooh, 60, wasn't it? Yep, something like that would be pretty good. You can still adjust any of the hue saturation colors in this. And you can see the way you just get that red just bouncing up a little bit more like that. And there it is. Job done. Go on, give it a try. Until the next time, it's happy imaging and take care.